Hey everybody and welcome to part 5 of the advanced tutorial for the Apollo rocket. I'm your host Renault. Um, we're using the city texture pack. Let's go ahead and finish off the top of the rocket this time. We're going to do some detail work down here at the base. You're going to go one block up from the bottom and then you're going to count up eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you're going to bring it across. And you're going to stop at this edge. One down, or one up from the bottom. We're boxing this off in here. And then now what we're going to do is we're just going to keep going through the center, breaking it, and filling it, break it, fill it, break it, fill it. And you're going to do this on both sides of the rocket. We're going to fill up every other layer right here with ladders. And that's it for the detail right there. So you can see we do this on each side under the A. All right guys, so this is the top of our 32 block tall stage. If you remember, we split it up between 65 at the bottom, then 32, and then 20. So at the top of this, you're gonna count one block down and you're gonna put in two rows of pillar quartz. All right, and then once we get that done, we're gonna start our next stage, the 20 block tall stage. So we got four gray wool, step back in again, four more gray wool, step back in, and then the uh, white. So let's go ahead and finish this half of the dome here. Or not dome, but uh, the cone shape for the rocket. And I don't believe in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to do the lunar uh, lander and the command module. Um, I went ahead and finished them for the build myself, but you know anybody could have a thousand ways they want to do it. Um, you can see the way I did it in Spanklejank's Epic Structures video of this build. Uh, so you can check it out for some ideas, and uh, I'd love to see some of your guys ideas if you want to email them to me at renault at spanklevision.com finish this corner up and then on all four sides we're going to put ladders we're going to just run ladders on all four sides of this first four layer four tall layer That gives some nice grid work texture. And if you see, it's like checker patterned in the um, reference photos that we're using. Step it back one, trace it all the way around, and then come up four blocks again. If you guys have anything you want to see built, um, email me at renault at spanklevision.com and um, I'll see what I can do. And there we go, there's the black wool, or sorry, the gray wool. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do the checker pattern in the corners now. And then here we're going to turn the corner. go we have our black and white checker pattern
All right, step it back in. And run your white. And we're just doing two blocks high for now. We have the ladders here. We're just going to keep continuing it. And we're going to do ladders all the way around on this white. So we're going to keep coming around here. Um, no, wait, hold on. Why am I breaking these right now? No, those ladders do go all the way around. Oh, I forgot to do this corner. It was throwing me off. go all the way around the white. Sorry about that, everybody. Alright, there we go. Alright. We're gonna bring it up 10 more blocks, so that's the top of our 20 layer, right there. With the same white. So you guys see what I mean when I say it's not difficult it's just so big and time consuming it, it seems like an epic like an epic structure but if you follow this tutorial and you're not making it up as you go or anything you can knock it out really fast So we're gonna go two more high and run ladders. So now we're at 22 high. So we're over our top marker now. run ladders all the way around and it's getting dark here oh I gotta finish oh I'm so sorry about the light guys I'm just getting this knocked out real fast Almost got it. 
boom. <laughs> Alright guys, we got this done. Uh, let's we're gonna run a layer of bedrock along the top of this. And you keep seeing how we flip back and forth between the, the black and the white, the black and the white, creating contrast between these layers so we can see where each stage of the rocket is from a distance, so the white doesn't just all blend together. All right, we're gonna run gray wool on top of this black. From a distance, it almost makes it look like it has, like it's casting a shadow, like there's a separation between the layers. All right, and then we're gonna finish off the tip of this cone. So you're gonna step in one and come up two. Alright, you're going to step in one again, and come up two, and you're just going to keep repeating this pattern. Stepping in one, going up two, step back one, go up two. And it'll give you a nice slope. There we go. This layer, don't forget, it's got to go catty corner. You're going to fill those holes in. Back one, layer two, and then we're gonna switch it to these chiseled quartz blocks. Hey, what's up, Midnight Hoss? Join the map. And let's finish this up right here. And Oh, we don't need these corner blocks, that's right. We're making like a cross, like two blocks, diagonal, two blocks, diagonal, two blocks. And then on top of that, we're just gonna run four blocks at different heights, and then just kind of, you know, short stubby, put some ladders on them, and that's it for the rocket. Um, I hope you guys like this tutorial so far. Uh, you can stop here or you continue to the next video and we're going to start working on the launch tower itself. So uh, go ahead and click next video. If these are helping you out, go ahead and sub and like these videos. And be sure to check out SpankleVision.com for the latest in our exclusive map downloads. What do you guys want to build today?